Today I've reset the NBA back to the year 2000. Tim Duncan and the Spurs had one title under their belt. Shaq and Kobe had just won their first in a 3 P. And the Vancouver Grizzlies were in the midst of the worst six-year stretch in NBA history. Today, instead of letting that Lakers 3 P play out, Shaq and Kobe dominate the league, I'm sending prime Kobe back in time with a specific mission. Ladies and gentlemen, Kobe Bryant is now on the Vancouver Grizzlies. Like in real life in 2006, Kobe will be at the peak of his powers on unfortunately with a less than stellar supporting cast. By completing the following challenges over a five season stretch, Kobe will have a chance to upgrade his squad and will also be tracking his progress alongside that of Tim Duncan and Shaquille O'Neal in order to crown a true goat of the early 2000s era. Can Kobe build the best resume amongst all his foes while simultaneously saving basketball in Vancouver? I sure hope so. And as mentioned, we'll be tracking the following accolades for our three heroes. And by the end of five seasons, we should should have a definitive answer as to whose era this really is. And as you can see there, Shaq, Tim Duncan, Kobe all had a ring at the point we're jumping into this timeline in the year 2000. So I added that to their resume, but I reset everything else. Kobe is basically alone on this Grizzlies team with a young Mike Bibby there. And for those with a keen eye, yes, I did trade Sharif Abdur Rahim to the Lakers. It made sense to me since Shaq was losing his best teammate in Kobe. So yeah, that's what I did. It's even more of a challenge now for Kobe. Kobe's quest to save the Grizzlies started off rough, as you might expect for him, both personally and as the losses racked up. The month of March, though, would be a turning point for Kobe as he notched a massive 38, 11, and 12 triple-double in a win over the Cavaliers. He dropped 58 points a season high against Kevin Garnett and the Minnesota Timberwolves, a heavyweight. And in an epic duel with former teammate Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe dropped 44 on the Lakers to finish the month of March, but it was in a loss, a trend for the season. Oh my gosh. And right off rip. It's not Shaq. It's not Tim. It's not Co. It's Kevin Garnett uh, making a push to own this era. I guess fair enough. That's a huge MVP season. Stromile Swift on the Vancouver Grizzlies won Rookie of the Year. Okay, maybe there's a teammate that will develop for Co. KG also won DPOI. My word, he's going to ruin this video right, right from step one. This is very important. Kobe Bryant, I took a second to realize, made first team all NBA already checking off a challenge with Allen Iverson, KG, Paul Pierce. There is Shaq on first team. Tim Duncan made third team with Ben Wallace, Vince Carter, Gary Payton team. Boy, the early 2000s, what an era for basketball. It's just so fun to look at. Yo, old man David Robinson, I guess he's not that old in 2000, making all NBA third. Okay, then. Kobe also goes ahead and makes an all defensive team. He's going to get a bunch of upgrades to his team right away. Antonio McDice, that's an interesting name. While Tim Duncan and Shaq both make second team all defensive, not that we really care about that for their resume. Moment of truth, our league leaders AI 33.6 a game. Kobe is there third in the league in scoring. So he did not win a scoring title, but cleared 30 points a game with ease playing over 40 minutes a night. We love to see it. Shaq is there at, oh my word, Shaq averaged 31 and 13. Didn't win MVP. KG might have robbed him there. I don't see Tim Duncan up here. Fair enough. Oh, there's Tim 23 and 13. Yep. Ah, there you go. All right. Kevin Garnett uh, was the first seed with the Minnesota Timberwolves. The Lakers, the three seed, the Spurs, the four seed, but Kobe's Grizzlies missed the playoffs. In fact, they finished down there with the second worst record in the Western Conference, meaning they'll get a pretty good draft pick. The final individual stat I'm tracking in terms of upgrades for Kobe is per player efficiency rating. He did not lead the league. It was Shaq. Kobe was down there at eighth. That is going to be a tough one. We're going to wait till before season two to apply upgrades, but look at Kobe knocking off three of five challenges in our first season. I might have made him too easy. 30 plus points per game, all NBA first all defensive first. Once again, I'll apply and explain the upgrades further in just a few seconds, but we got to see what happens in the playoffs now. And now let's see what happens in the Western Conference. Minnesota one seed, the Spurs four, the Lakers three. Do Tim or Shaq get on the board with a ring? I guess it would be their second ring. And I guess for Shaq, that's a big fat no. He loses to Dirk, Steve Nash with the Mavs. Oh my word. In 98, Tim Duncan is facing off with MVP 95 KG in round two. And the MVP sent Tim packing. All right, Kobe, you got nothing to worry about except Except, well, you know, Kevin Garnett, who is on route to a near perfect season. He's about to take on the Hornets in the finals. Come on, man. The New Orleans Hornets in this time. What? 83 Baron Davis, Jamal Mash. Really? Re you're just gifting KG a ring. Watch out, watch out, watch out. What? No way. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
What did I just see? Uh, that's our accolades page through one season. Everybody on equal footing because Tim and Shaq failed in the playoffs. Okay, and moving on to year two, things not looking good for Kobe and the Grizzlies. Most of his teammates are unhappy. Also, Mike Bibby, I don't know what his contract was, but he got up out of here with the quickness. Fortunately, as I bring our challenges board back up, Kobe gets to add one all-rookie team member. He gets to bump a teammate to 80 overall, and he gets to add a teammate, which I'll get to. First up, we're spinning a wheel of all rookie team members from the season we just saw, which was the 2000-2001 season. As you can see, Manu, Jamal Crawford, there's some great names here, and we're gonna land on one of them, Manu Ginobili. 78 overall, Manu does become Kobe's second best teammate. I might have to make him a point guard. Also, I just noticed the Grizzlies must have drafted Richard Jefferson. That's cool. He might develop. The second upgrade there that I mentioned, pretty self-explanatory, 80 overall bump. I get to move any Kobe teammate up to an 80 overall, and I chose Stroh Miles Swift after his rookie of the year winning season. He says, it says he's a 79 right now, but he will be an 80. And yeah, I went ahead and made Manu a point guard. That's starting five, starting to round out. And it'll look even better after our third and final upgrade after Kobe's big first season. I get to add any of his IRL former teammates other than Shaquille O'Neal. He is not on this list, but there's a bunch of other super cool names. Mitch Richmond, okay. Oh, no, Mitch Richmond. I couldn't remember where we were on the time. Like, this is very much like the Mitch Richmond Kobe played with 36 overall, uh, 36 years old, 79 overall. He'll be good for a season, I guess. I'm not gonna lie. Those three upgrades could have gone so much better. Kobe is still not working with a lot, especially all these guards and shooting guards. I don't know if this is gonna work for you, Kobe. Thanks to his roster limitations, Kobe was forced to play more point guard and small forward in his second year with the Vancouver Grizzlies. His scoring numbers as a whole took a hit. And despite some progress being made from young teams, teammates alongside him. Kobe's second season with the Vancouver Grizzlies was an ultimate failure. Oh boy. Yep. Yep. This was not Kobe's season, especially seeing Shaq dominate. He put up these numbers last year, but this time he wins MVP. Oh, very interesting. This bodes well for the future. Manu did win most improved player. And we see, I think the identical all NBA first team Kobe is on there, which is nice. Uh, no Tim Duncan, but of course Shaq. Duncan slides in on all NBA second team. Okay. Kobe's going to go five for five on all NBA. Uh, all defensive first, I believe. No Tim or Shaq, though. And no Shaq at all, actually. All defensive. Tim makes second. Allen Iverson led the NBA in scoring again with 33.6 points per game. The exact number he did in year... What? What? Allen, how? After that, Shaq almost won a scoring title, which would be great for his resume. And Kobe, even with playing 40 minutes a night, only scored 27 points a game. That's not ideal. Even worse, this was all Shaq this season. Led the league in per by a mile. Tim Duncan was actually second. And Kobe... Uh, he just, ah, uh, not a good season. Wow, that's ugly, dude. It was Duncan Spurs who were atop the West with 61 wins. Shaq's Lakers 50. Who needs Kobe? Am I right, Shaq? And Kobe's Grizzlies were last in the West. That is brutal, dog. Other than natural development of players like Manu and Stromile Swift, hopefully Kobe's team will not be getting better by year three either, unless the management does something smart. I don't know. And into the playoffs we go. The Spurs are a one seed. The Lakers a two seed. Will they meet in the conference final? Finals. No, they won't as Shaq's Lakers get upset again. The MVP though, Shaq, maybe you do need Kobe. The Spurs, Tim Duncan will face this trailblazer squad who still have old man Scottie Pippen. They've got Prime Rashid, really old man Sean Kemp. This should be a Spurs win. And it took them seven games, but indeed they advanced to the finals in what will be a rematch of the 1999 NBA Finals where Tim won his first ring. But Tim Duncan is no Kevin Garnett, my friends. A 4-1 easy Easy cruise to the NBA Finals. Even though 2K is not showing me the stats, Tim did win Finals MVP. That's a weird glitch. And just like that, Kobe falls well behind the pace in terms of who wins the era because now Tim's got two rings, two All NBAs. Shaq at least added an MVP, but can either of the former Lakers win another ring? Oh my gosh, Kobe's journey just became that much more difficult. Mitch Richmond wasn't great, but that was one of his five upgrades. Now he's out of the league. However, when one door closes, well, you know what they say another one opens with the first pick in the 2002 NBA draft the Vancouver Grizzlies select 
Yao Ming from Shanghai, China. Standing at 7 foot 5, 310 pounds. Who needs Shaq? Kobe's got a new Hall of Fame big man in tow. I mentioned Mitch Richmond retired, but Manu is still here. Stromile Swift is up to an 81. Dickerson is still around. Richard Jefferson developing. I don't know why they can't sign any depth, but maybe it won't be needed if Kobe's playing 50 minutes a night. And in honor of a potentially new era for the Vancouver Grizzlies, Yao Ming alongside Kobe Bryant. We're going full Mamba man mentality with number 24 the switch has been made with number 24 on his back and Yao Ming by his side it was finally time for Kobe Bryant to save basketball in Vancouver the W's racked up Kobe's numbers saw a slight uptick in his third season all culminating in a huge 36 point 15 rebound statement victory over the Nuggets to close out the season unfortunately Kevin Garnett wins his second MVP man he's right there if he wins a ring he might be right there for go to the era but it's it's all good. There he is, Yao Ming winning rookie of the year. 20 and 11 he averaged as a rookie, man. Who cares if he's eating into Kobe's numbers? Because yes, 99 overall. Number 24, Kobe is first team All-NBA. So is Shaq. Still no Tim Duncan on All-NBA first. And Dirk is on the Nuggets. What? Tim Duncan, of course, has his spot on second team All-NBA. While Yao slips in on the third, Kobe's finally got some help, boys. Another first team All-Defense selection for Kobe as well. Tim Duncan gets there. And at long last, the Vancouver Grizzlies are in the playoffs, but they're up against MVP KG. Oh, no, my goodness. Okay, there is a lot to unpack here. So Kobe just missed out on a points per game, a scoring title, and even worse, Shaq is the one who won it for his resume. And also, Shaq did all this damage, 28 points again, in 32 minutes a night. My word. What are the Lakers doing, Slash? How is he so good? But you know what? Individual accolades are cool. You know what will look even better on Kobe's resume? Another ring. These Timberwolves are the higher seed, but they are right there for the taking, Kobe. Kobe, let's go, Mamba. I knew Kobe and the Grizzlies would have a good shot at winning this series, but I did not see them going up 3-0 without breaking a sweat. They were in complete control of this first round series. There's no way, right? We're not going to see a sweep. Like the Timberwolves, they have to make things interesting here, at least with a win or two. Yeah, okay. There's one. Wow. Wow. The Grizzlies almost came back. Okay. There's one Minnesota. Fine. Yeah, this might be two, Kobe. I'm going to need you to clutch this thing out. Close this series down, brother. Come on, Kobe. I want you to own this era so badly my guy you manu yao you can do this you can go on like a three-peat run to end this video kobe from the mid-range that's money that's uh, that's all okay terrell brandon missed a free throw the grizzlies are out of timeouts but they have a lot of time they only need a two. Oh yeah go to kobe in the post this is easy money no double incoming kobe with the fade we saw that from a mile away you know the timberwolves are gonna try to work this ball to kg they're running out of time oh no he's gonna have time for a fade away don't break our heart kg don't break our heart MV MVP KG just won it. The series lives on. Oh my gosh, no. No, no. KG's choking DNA has rubbed off onto Kobe, who's in turn choking. We now have a game seven. Yeah, it's cooked. It's cooked. Kobe, you had a good run. You won a few playoff games. Uh, get ready for next year, pal. Oh yeah, that's how you freaking reverse psychology, people. You call a man a choker. You say he's bad. You say he's gonna lose and he'll perform sometimes. I don't know. Good job, Kobe. You were this close to blowing a 3-0 series lead. Oh my gosh. And he's off to round two against the Nuggets. I just mentioned them like twice in the last three minutes because they somehow ended up with dirt. Dirk Nowitzki, Chauncey Billups stayed in Denver, never went to Detroit, has obviously started progressing. Larry Hughes, Tyson Chandler must have just been drafted. That's a good team. Total sidebar. I just now noticed the LA Lakers missed the playoffs completely. The second worst team in the West. And it doesn't stop, bro. From Hall of Fame Kevin Garnett to Hall of Fame Dirk with Hall of Fame Tim Duncan waiting should Kobe and the Grizzlies win game seven. The freaking Western Conference, bro. You know what? For the content, just don't show me a blowout here in game seven. Uh, also, we like like to see Kobe win, probably, but he's down early. No, Kobe! No, where's your magic, bro? Where's the mop? Dang it, dude. Wow. It was a great run in year three with the Vancouver Grizzlies upsetting KG and the T-Wolves. But... Back to the drawing board for Kobe ahead of year four. This is a great battle. Tim versus Dirk in the conference finals. Oh boy, and Dirk Nowitzki doing us no favors, doing Kobe no favors as Tim might win his second ring, his second one in a row. Oh, never mind. That's a sweet, bro. I did not see that. Wow. Ray Allen still on the Bucks gets himself. 
yourself some hardware. Yeah, this Bucks team is actually real good. Tim Thomas, Tony Kukoc, uh, Michael Red, Young. Okay. And after three seasons, no matter which way you slice it, Kobe's resume is looking the weakest. Shaq added a scoring title, a points per game title to go with his MVP. And Timmy Duncan's got two rings, man. Come on, Kobe. You have two more seasons. The Grizzlies management team is not doing any cooking of their own, but their young players are developing. Manu, Yao Ming, Stromile, Jefferson around Kobe. Like, this should be enough to go deep in the playoffs again, Kobe. Finally, with a sturdy supporting cast around him in Vancouver, Kobe Bryant would ascend to MVP candidacy en route to leading the Grizzlies to the best record in the NBA by a mile. He was amazing. And he wins MVP. Okay, yo, I am genuinely surprised, all right, because, uh, well, let me just show you guys here. Literally two seconds ago, I paused the simulation with one game left in the season and Tim Duncan was ahead on the award races page. I was literally getting ready for Kobe to lose MVP. Did he win it thanks to that final game? I don't know, but his numbers were incredible this season, as you can see. LeBron obviously took home rookie of the year in Philadelphia. Please don't ruin my dreams, bro. Oh, but Tim Duncan finally wins DPOY for his resume. That's interesting. I am buzzing, bro. This might have been our best season for our collective heroes. Kobe, Tim Duncan, and Shaq all made first team all NBA. Kobe went ahead, made his fourth straight defensive first team. So did Tim Duncan. But older man Shaq, 32 years old now, made second team all defense. Congrats. But look at the Vancouver Grizzlies, man. First seed in the West. You love to see it. Shaq's Lakers somehow managed to get back in the playoffs after missing last year. 55 wins while the Spurs won 53. Yo, these playoffs are going to be nuts. Kobe's supporting cast doesn't have a deep bench, but he's a 99. Manu's up to an 87. Yao an 86. It's looking tight, but moment of truth here, folks. Yes, yeah! sir. Kobe wins his first scoring title, which is going to look so good on the resume next to that MVP. Yo, shout out to Jason Richardson. J. Rich on the Cavs, second in the league in scoring. Okay. The final infinity stone for Kobe would be when I scroll through, did he lead the league in per? That is player efficiency. What? <laughs> what the hell? What? <laughs> That's freaking Corey Kispert. What in the world? We won't apply it until his fifth and final season, but Kobe does win an MVP, earning his fourth of five potential upgrades. Looks like he's not going to get that per one, but that's all good. We'll talk about this in a bit. Round one against a solid Rockets team. Katino Mobley, Page. I mean, this should be a sweep. No, no, no. Oh my gosh. And they almost came back. I'm not even watching this thing because I have so much confidence Kobe's not going to choke <laughs> an eight point win in game seven. You know what? He survived. But the reason going seven games was so dumb is because because, yep, it's Tim Duncan in the Spurs in round two. Tim Duncan has 84, Nick Van Exel, sure. Then a couple old dudes, nowhere near the depth Kobe has. Do not let him get revenge for losing MVP. Oh, oh okay. Thank you, 2K. I kind of thought we were going to have to sweat through something. Now, 4-1 series win, easy work. By the way, Kobe following up his MVP campaign with 29-8-8 eight and eight in the playoffs right now. Let's not jinx anything, though. A calendar year prior than this moment, Kobe and the Grizzlies were dusted in the playoffs by Dirk. Dirk Nowitzki and the Denver Nuggets, a grueling seven game series. And now we got a rematch. Come on, Kobe. No excuses, man. A better starting five, better top end talent around you. And you are better than Dirk, right? I believed I had my answer to that question pretty quickly as Kobe and the Grizzlies got out to an early 2-0 series lead. I sweated a bit when Dirk and the Nuggets took a game, but that's all they would take. Kobe is simply too great at this point in his career. Oh my gosh. Look at that freaking stat line in the West finals for Kobe. He went a triple double with 40 points. He went 31 and 12, 38 points, 38 points, 41 and 13 to close Dirk out. Nah, he's amazing. Kobe and the Grizzlies are on the war path right now, but uh, the Bucks actually did win the title last season. Kobe though has all the momentum, an MVP award. He's dominated these playoffs flat out. Don't let this be the end of the road. Let's go Vancouver. This series had all time NBA finals potential, especially after the Bucks opened up a stranglehold 3-1 lead in the series. Kobe and the the Grizzlies would not die. They took a do or die game five. Here we go on the road. Kobe and the Grizzlies need this one. If they win this, they aren't losing game seven at home. I know. It. Oh no, they're going to have to earn it though. They're going to have to earn it in the clutch down too. Why is Michael Red guarding Yao? I have no idea. Kobe doesn't care. He's shooting. He's shooting. Yeah, Kobe's taking over. Mob of mentality. Fair enough. Defensively, what do these Vancouver Grizzlies have to offer? This crotty dude for the Bucks is like a 74. Oh my word. Michael Red is firing. That was a great contest from Kobe. Go in transition. The Grizzlies could find a quick Oh, Kobe. Kobe. Oh, 
no chill, Kobe. I actually like that shot. He just bricked it. It's all good. Kobe wanted a dagger. It's all good as long as you play. Yo, Michael Red is chucking, and that was actually a clean look. He also bricks it. Our guys are getting nervous in the clutch. Fair enough. On both sides, Kobe, is he going to work with you? He steps back, feet behind the line. Ah, Kobe, that was another makeable look, dude. I am so nervous. It's Kobe versus Michael Red. They are both just chucking. Wait, aren't both of them from the Philly area? There's some history between those two. We don't care right now. Michael Red's got the rock, you know. Oh, it's another good look. Ah, I knew it. I knew he was going to hit one eventually. It was only a matter of time. Kobe, you cannot let Michael Red have the last laugh. Richard Jefferson forcing a shot. Why? Go get go. Where the where's Yao? Why is Yao sitting in the backcourt while Richard Jefferson's taking mid ranges? Yeah, no, get the ball to Kobe. I cannot believe what I'm watching now. The Vancouver Grizzlies now down four. Kobe forced up and bricked a few shots in the clutch. I get it, but on that last possession, no, they just froze him out. That's gonna be game. You've got to be kidding me, man. The Bucks win a second straight NBA Finals. I can't believe it. That was Kobe's magical season, his chance to win the era, dude. With just one season remaining, Kobe winning a ring there might have made his resume unassailable. He needs it now in year five. It's that simple. I showed this earlier as well. By winning an MVP, Kobe unlocks his fourth of five upgrades. This could get nuts. The 96 draft. For winning MVP, Kobe gets to add one fellow member of the 1996 NBA draft class. Wherever they are in the current timeline where we're at, he gets to add them. There are some insane numbers right here including Steve Nash. Insane names. Did I say number? You guys get what I'm saying. Steve. Steve Nash and Kobe Bryant were always destined to end up on a team together. IRL and I guess in this video too. And Steve arrives on the Grizzlies with Kobe at the perfect moment because as you can see, Manu Ginobili is gone. This team has no bench. They just need their starting five to carry. And carry they would. Or at least Kobe Bryant. His best season since the first one of this video. 32, 9, and 8. What a stat line, his second MVP. Oh my, word. and he wins DPOI. Nah, this is getting serious now. He did everything. Kobe was joined by Tim and still Shaq on first team all NBA. Shaq hasn't done much this video, it feels. Kobe goes five for five on all defensive first team. So does Tim Duncan. Oh my goodness, Tim Duncan's on the Rockets. It took me a second to realize that. I see Shaq up there with his Lakers as the one seed. Wow. While our Kobe Grizzlies are the two seed, makes sense. Kobe wins a second straight scoring title, barely by 0.1 points over T-Mac, who's now on the Lakers. What in the world? This NBA is crazy. Yeah, Kobe had to play so many minutes because this Grizzlies team has zero bench. Same goes for Steve Nash, by the way. No wonder he averaged 14 assists per game. It's a moot point at this stage, but Kobe can't crack the top 10 in terms of player efficiency rating, and I'm not really sure why. But anyways, I'm not sure what else needs to be said. An insane five-year stretch for Kobe in his prime return to the worst team in NBA history. He just won MVP DPOY after averaged eight assists per game. His team does not have any depth, but he's got a nuts starting five and that should be enough. But the West is a bloodbath. I don't know, dude. Kobe, you need another ring. As per usual, Kobe and the Grizzlies got a scare in round one. It took them seven, but they did advance and they beat in five games, Tim Duncan and the Houston Rockets setting up a West Finals match. Oh, I didn't piece it together. I am so dumb. I saw that T-Mac was on the Lakers, but I, for some reason I was thinking of Tim Duncan. I thought Shaq left the Lakers. It doesn't make sense. Yep. Yep. Kobe's about to lose. This is insane. And they still have my guy Sharif. No, I don't know, dude. This is just T-Mac and Shaq. This Wow. Is this really how our video is going to end for Kobe? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Why? Kobe has a chance to extend this series, but they're still down 3-1. Honestly, these Lakers may as well put the Grizzlies out of their misery right now. Yao going up against Shaq. Come on, Yao. You finish. Yeah, good finish, Shaq. Now you got to get it. If you get a stop, you might. They have Damon Stoudemire too. That's a solid point guard for this roster. Can Yao get a stop on Shaq? He's so old, but he's got buckets down low. I think the Grizzlies might be out of timeouts right now. I can't actually see in this menu. Kobe Kobe, great look to tie the game. Extend the series. Are you joking me? An insanely tough way to go out with Shaquille O'Neal on the other side, having recruited Tracy McGrady. No, so much history. Uh -huh. It took Shaq five seasons, but he finally recruited a replacement for Kobe Bryant. And in this alternate timeline, T-Mac is now an NBA champion. Kevin Garnett won a pair of MVPs before Kobe came through with sheer individual dominance. But unfortunately, the 
Vancouver Grizzlies are not etched in NBA history with a championship ring. Tim Duncan won one, Shaq won one, the Bucks won a pair. <laughs> All together in our condensed five season era, who has the best resume? Kobe individually did the most, especially with that DPOY, but only one ring hurts so bad, dude. Whatever you think of Kobe's five year resume, I will say I think he saved basketball in Vancouver, which would have been a huge W. Check out when I did this exact same format, but with Steph Curry on the Charlotte Bobcats.